Earth. How underwhelming. Hello everybody, Bolt Matrix coming at you today, and we're going to be taking a look at Shatter, specifically Transformers Studio Series number 61, Shatter. This is the jet form of her. This figure is great. Just solid, great, and super, super cool. The figure is modeled in black, red, silver, and gunmetal, and I gotta admit guys, this looks real good. If my camera would focus in, and that head sculpt, oh, the head sculpt is so good. The head sculpt is, I believe, very similar to her original car-based model, but honestly, I can't remember, and I cannot find that figure. Like, all of my, re all of the Studio Series figures that I don't like seem to be missing. I probably put them in storage somewhere. The only accessories that Shatter comes with are these twin blasters. One can be held in each hand, but it does matter which hand they try to go into, as they can only fit well in one hand. Unfortunately, there's nowhere else to really store them in the robot mode, except maybe back there along the wings. Even then, they don't look great being stored back there, but they do fit, so there is that. Unfortunately, if you have ham hands like I do, eh, good luck. Posability for the figure is pretty good, even though it has a gigantic backpack. Head is on a ball joint, but it is a bit limited, and it can look up all the way, though. <laughs> Shoulders are on a ball joint as well. There is a swivel just underneath the shoulder and a ratcheting elbow, no fist articulation, no torso articulation to speak of due to the way the figure transforms, ball joint in the hips, and the hips do have a tendency to come unpegged quite easily, though the ball joint in the hip is a little bit limited, as you can see, it can only kick out so far. Swivel just above the knee, 90 degree bend in the knee, and no real foot articulation except for the transformation, but the figure has heels for days. Posing the figure isn't really a challenge, thanks to these giant heels, they offset the weight that is from this giant backpack quite a bit, which is really nice. Also, all of the joints on the figure, except for the head, are very tight. Oh, uh, these pins aren't the tightest things in the world, but I'm fine with that. Ball joints, swivels, everything, super tight. So you can actually get the figure to pose pretty darn well, and it'll stay in whatever pose you put it in. Also, the figure has a nice big old butt plug so that the figure can be put onto a stand. Unfortunately, none of the stands I have have the little plug anymore, as I replace them all with the ones that have, you know, the kind of springy grips. So, yeah, there's that. Transformation for Shatter is not for the faint of heart, and the directions make it very difficult to understand. But the best thing to, or the best way to describe it is really the front of the jet is going to be pointing that way, and the rest of the jet is going to be coming this way. So the entire figure will fold into the fuselage, just like most all plain Transformers. So to start with, we're going to take the head, push it all the way back, take the arms, kind of point them up to the sky like this, and then come down to the legs, fold the feet up into the shins, take the heels and fold them down to cover the backs of the feet like that, then take the lower legs, turn them 100, 180 degrees, and then combine them. Now, for the torso, this is a little bit funny. So first, come to the backpack and unpeg this section in the back, flip the tip of the nose cone down, and fold the back all the way down with the arms up, turn the entire t upper torso around 180 degrees, grab the arms, unpeg them from the shoulder, or I should say grab the shoulders and unpeg them from the body, and then rotate them 180 degrees behind the back, fold the arms behind the head, turn the arms so that the back part of the four, black part of the forearms are pointing straight up, and combine them. Next, come to the belly, unhinge it, and there's a double hinge here, make sure that's extended all the way. And then you can fold that down and peg the arms into the back of the vehicle mode. Now, you can do that, but I wouldn't yet. I would actually just leave it just unplugged or unpegged so we could take care of the wings. So the wings are going to be done by first coming into the backs. The wings are gonna be taken care of by folding the wings actually all the way up like that 
And then this extra piece that we have flapped down that are kind of just sitting under the engines are going to then snap into place right there. And then the whole section will fold up and over the body. And then the engines will fold around and then shimmy down where you can fold that one piece up and come over the body like this. And the reason I didn't peg that in first is because there are these little pegs on the edges. So these will peg into the outside of the arms. And you can just kind of hinge everything in together and then snap all this together. So then we have the entire top front part of the plane set up. And I like to just make sure that these are pushed in as far as they will go. Then we can bring the entire back bottom of the plane up and snap it into place like so. And oop, I did not snap everything into place correctly. Darn it. See, got a little pop out there. Eh, not a big deal. I'll fix that in post. And here we have Shatter in her jet mode, specifically a Harrier. This is really nice. This is probably, whoop, forgot to fold those out. This is probably one of, if not the best plane transformers we've gotten in a while. I would say, actually, all the flight-based Transformers we've gotten in the Studio Series are really good. Now you're wondering, where's the landing gear? Well, here, we just fold the landing gear down. And it's, it's real good. Now the guns can fit underneath the wings, and it doesn't matter which side you plug in. I, I it, it doesn't matter, and I don't care. And then again, we've got that little peg, so you can put it on a stand easily. But I got that other stand, so I'll show you that now. So yeah, there we go. It's on a flight stand, and it works well. Vibrate, it wobbles a lot, but that's pretty much every stand I've ever owned. Yeah, this is real good. This is a really, really solid figure. Now, I was speaking to my good buddy Vangelis about this in a recent uh, podcast recording, and yeah, this is a figure you need to pick up, especially if you're a fan of Shatter. Forget that car mode. Get this jet mode. You can pick it up over at the Big Bad Toy Store. They've got it available at the time of this recording. So act now or forever hold your peace. So let's go ahead and transform it back into robot mode. Now, if you're wondering why this video is a little bit different than normal, that's because I'm recording it on the camera or on the same camera that I recorded my TFW TFW, TFCon walkthrough on. It is a Sony RX100-107, or and I'm recording this video in 4K, or at least trying to, so we'll see how that goes. I'm finding that I don't think I've got enough light, but I've got this thing at ISO 1000, so it's as, pretty much as light as I can make it. Let me know what you think. Ah! 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 So transformation back into robot mode. First, snap the back off, fold the wing, the tail wings up, let that whole bottom pat or back section fold down, snap the wings in half, and then they will fold up and out of the way. Come to the front of the vehicle mode, fold up the nose cone, come to the back just behind the canopy, and there's this little flap that we want to un unfold like that. And then we can grab the entire engine section, flip it up and away from the figure, Take the arms and fold them around like that. I like to fold the head up first, 180 degrees around. Keep the landing gear folded down because there is a peg hole right back there that it's going to peg into. Collapse the tummy, pug, plug that peg hole in. And this is actually a little bit harder than you might think, so you got to push that down a little bit more. So get that down, hold that pegged into place, push the head up because it's going to fall over, split the legs apart, turn them 180 degrees, fold the tail wings up, flip the toes down, and they will snap into place on the inside of the, of the tail wings. Fold the arms down, turn the forearms around, and then fix the nose cone section, affix the nose cone section to the little flap that you fold down, and then fold the wings out, or the engines out, fold the wings down, and flip down those sections. So again, fold it down, flip those sections down, 
put the wings around, snap that in place, and you're done. It bears repeating just how much better this Shatter figure is than that car. I wanted to hit that car with a hammer. I really did. I, I really did. This one? Nah, this one's good. This one definitely belongs in your collection. So folks, let me know what you think of this figure down in the comments. Be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons, and be sure to go down to the description to follow me on Patreon.com. That's Patreon.com forward slash Vault Matrix. Your monthly financial contribution is going to help me keep the lights on. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.